Hello to all of my suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers. Our girl has did an upload, and I am here to react to it. Yes, I am. I'm not going to hold you. Mm-hmm. Um, it is, what is today? Tuesday, June 4th, 2024, in the year of the silverbacks. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. 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 But um, she uploaded this morning. Um, I'm just getting off work, so I was like, ah, let me go ahead and do this now, and then, you know, I can just get her done. I already have her queued up. Can y'all believe it? I already got her queued up. I already have her sped up because y'all know she's bored as fork, and so we got to get this done. Okay, so. Miss Mamas is going to talk to us about plus size maternity clothes, um, cutting her bangs because she's a dingus, date night also because she's a dingus, uh, her baby purchase, I guess, of the week, I don't know, and then um, sweat proof makeup. I don't think there is such a thing for a silverback, but baby, if that's what she say, then okay, girl. All right, let's get started. Started. Good morning from me in Pilute. Um, I don't think I've shared everything. Girl, who the fuck? Who the fork is Pilute? Who is Pilute? Recently, Bruno has kind of a new nickname. Oh no, it's Pilute. Started from how he's Mr. Spluter, loves to sploot. We call him Sploot. Bruh, <sighs> the dog is gonna be just as confused. As you are about your goddamn weight. Uh, wh why? Why? I mean, I get it. Okay, fine. Your haters, I mean, not your haters, your haters. Your supporters are gonna say, because it's her dog and she can do what she wants. But I mean, is it in the best interest of the dog? Just because she can, or just because you can? Should one just because one could? I'll answer that for you. <clears throat> no! No, damn it. The dog's name is Bruno. Call him Bruno. And I get it if, if you're like, Bruni, like I get that because, you know, it's it's off of Bruno, Bruni. I get it because sometimes I call Diamond Die Die. Okay. Mm, so I get that. But just all these random ass names, girl. <sighs> it's Tuesday, Lord. I got to let me get myself together. We're only 14 seconds in and already she getting on my nerves. Her and the hair that is standing up on her forearm. I don't know if y'all caught that, but I did. It's time to get that shaved or wax. Whatever it is that you do, Miss Mamas, make it happen. Expeditiously. It has shortened to P-Loot. Sometimes P, sometimes Loot, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes dummy. So here we are. Good morning. Um, we are headed in to the groomers. Bruno's time to get groomed has come. I really don't want to because I love his hair long. Um, but it's just it's just time for uh, a haircut. He doesn't love getting brushed, and um, it's just time. So I'm gonna drop him off at the groomers, and then my mom is working and needs to bring Chacha to the vet. Chacha has another ear infection, so I am going to go pick up Chacha and bring her to the vet. Oh, let me tell you something. The girls kept saying for days and days and days, where is Mama Fearless? Are you fighting with Mama Fearless? And not just the girls that can't stand you, boo-boo, but the girls that actually support you were in your little, you know, chat section, baby. They wanted to know where your mama was at, cupcake. <laughs> so even though you don't like to see say anything we know that you watch and you listen because then you start doing everything that we talk about miss mamas so since i know that you watch <laughs> i have a song for you it's a song it's a really good song i didn't make it up i think that um it was probably kelly kapoor that was like nella can you do like um unbreak my heart but like change the lyrics and so here it is unbig your back make it smaller again undo the rolls that you calls from eating out and snacking outdoors Unbig your back. 
Okay, I'm big it, baby. That was just for you, since I know you watch. <laughs> I know you watch, girl, so I just had to sing a little something, something for you. That's it, and that's all. Okay, keep talking. Well, Bruno said the groomers were on dog duty today. And I also need to run into Target to grab a couple things um, as well. So we're just going to kind of run a bunch of errands. And then later today, Yara and I are going on our weekly, um, we're going to call it dinner date, but like we do it earlier before it gets busy because today is Friday. So we're doing like dunch, lunch, dunch, lunch, oh! dinner. Um, and we're going to eat outside because it's a gorgeous day. It is sunny, uh, low 70s, like the perfect day to eat outside. So I'm really excited. I want to like um, put on one of my cute new maternity dresses. I got in my package. He doesn't even want to be seen with you. <laughs> y'all remember in Mean Girls where they were all all like junior girls I guess it was um go to the auditorium or what have you and um Damien was in the back and <laughs> the chick was crying that didn't go to their school and he was like she doesn't even go here yeah that was me just now just saying boo please pass the mic <laughs> He doesn't want to go there with you. He doesn't want to be seen with you. Boop, boop. Yep. He don't want to be seen with you, boo. He doesn't. Package from Pink Blush. So I want to show you guys the few pieces I picked up from there for maternity, summer clothes. And yeah, we're going to have a good day. Like the sun just puts me in such a good mood. So first stop, we're dropping off Mr. P. Lute. Oh boy. He knows where we are and he's so excited. I don't know how people drop their kids off at like school and stuff. Because I even feel sad when I drop him off at the shut the hell up you shut just shut right the hell up okay shut up because you went on an entire little mini vacay okay with the quote unquote friends and yar okay and those people had their dog with them and you took you know bruno to the kennel or the babysitter the dog sitter whatever in the fuck you call it so you just shut the hell up you left him there for some days. Now you want to whine because you have to leave him a few hours to get a haircut. Girl, miss us with the bullshit, okay? Because you're full of bullshit, you know that? That's probably why you always on the toilet and recording yourself in the bathroom because you're full of shit. Okay, Miss Mamas? Yeah. The groomers. I love that dog so much. <laughs> no, you don't! I can't imagine a child. I'm going to be crying, y'all. All right, I'm going to surprise my mom. Oh! We're going to be crying, too, because, in fact, some of us already are because we feel horrible for that child. Horrible. Okay? Horrible for the kid in question. I'm going to get her a little workday treat. She has become obsessed with the Diet Cherry Limeade at Sonic, so I'm going to grab her one when I go pick up the dog. Good morning. Um, can I please get a large Diet Cherry Limeade? Yeah, we go. Now, you just yeah. wait a minute. You just, you're not going to tell me that your big ass was at Sonic, baby. And all you got <laughs> was Miss uh, Nancy, a diet cherry lime I know you got yourself something, girl. What you got yourself, Alex? Girl, what you got yourself? Girl, what did you get yourself? Because I know you got yourself something. What did you get yourself? Huh? Why even take us there if you weren't going to show us what you got your mama and you? Because we all know that you fed that back, huh? You fed that back. That back was hungry, huh? You fed it. It's wide as all our dogs. We know that you fed it. What did you get from Sonic? Huh? Because <laughs> we all know that you like Sonic. Because it's got that, ooh, it's got a cherry. It's got that good, good. It's got that good, good ice. Remember that vlog, Al? Yeah. I remember it. I'm sure other people remember it too. Anyways, let's go head on and see what Mama Fearless doing. Yo, 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 yo! Your hair looks so cute. Isn't it cute like this? Oh, Nancy is a skinny legend. No wonder you haven't been showing your mother. She looks good. Someone fixed her dye job. Okay, the hair looks better than it did, guys. And she is maintaining her her slimness, and she looks better than you. What the actual fork? Holy shirt. Alex, now we know why. Y'all know Alex be jealous of her mother. Okay, quiet as it's kept, girl. Y'all need to peep this tea. 
Peep this tea. Okay, get your teacup side, baby, because I'm pouring it. Okay, I'm pouring tea. All right? And for those of you that like wine, get your glass so you can get a glass of wine. Okay? She's absolutely jealous of her mother. And then the comment section of people that actually like her saying the same thing in previous vlogs when uh, they were at, I believe it was the Dollar Tree. And she got real, you know, snarky with her mother. Uh-huh. Yeah, Alex, we on the you cupcake. You watch the vlogs, don't you? You watch the reaction channels. It's okay. You know, we watch you too. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, your mom looks amazing. Hmm. She looks good. Is that why you haven't been showing her to us? Because you're jelly? Huh? Girl, what are you going to do? Your counterparts are losing weight. I mean, they say that Chantel Foodie Beauty is lying, but baby, they say she lost 30 pounds. You know what I'm saying? And then even Amberlynn Reed done lost a couple of little pounds, according to the hello. It's ready. And ooh, and let's not even get into Samantha Joe. Ooh, girl, Samantha Joe looking good as hell. You better get your shit together before you lose your mantle. <laughs> before she snatch yard up. You know he got that space between his eyes, baby. He can see far and wide. And he see all the girls losing weight. And you just picking it up. Everything they drop, you picking it up, baby. Walk up by, baby. Get your shit together, Al. Get it together. But anyways, your mother looks fantastic. And and you look like you. Shit. You're so cute. Yes, I know. I, am. I love it. You. It looks so good. Thank you. I kind of like it myself. Look what I got you for you. Did it. you did. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're about to head into the vet and get your ear all fixed. I mean, no, she's been shaking it, poor thing. We're gonna get it all fixed. You gonna get your ear fixed? Get your shots? You smell dogs, huh? You barking at the dog you hear? You hear a dog? Oh. Wait a minute! Wait! Wait, now you just wait one, you wait one minute. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. But oh, you just hold on one minute. Let me go back, because I need to show y'all something. We're gonna get it all fixed. Gonna get your ear fixed. We're gonna look at something together. You smell dogs, huh? Boom! What's that? What do you mean, Nella? The midsection. What's that? Hmm? Is that a big old round baby bump? It just looks like a jelly roll to me. And don't y'all come for me, haters. And, um, Alex supporters stands talking about what she's sitting down. I don't give a fuck. Okay, my fat ass. Yes, I said fat ass. The original silver back in this motherfucker when I was pregnant. Hmm. And my belly was round. It was round whether I was standing up or sitting down. Don't make me pull out the receipts on y'all ass because y'all know that one thing about Miss Nella, baby, is that I comes with receipts. I showed y'all when I was 350 pounds. I showed y'all when I lost weight. I showed y'all me with makeup. I showed y'all me without makeup. Hmm? I show y'all me. I don't lie about it. Say what now? <laughs> okay. Baby, that's not a bump. It's a fat roll. It's a jelly roll, huh? Baby, she done took Lil' Debbie and turned her into Big Deborah. <laughs> Woo! Big Deborah. No, no, no. I know it's going to be so good soon. Many hours later. Okay, guys, it is now the afternoon. I came home after I brought Cha Cha back to. Again, Jelly Rose, no baby. Bump. Girl, where is your bump? Also, where is that sharp chin that I saw you have on Instagram, girl? Because, girl, where is it? <laughs> girl, where is it? Girl, where is that sharp chin you had, girl? Hmm? Where is it? And that big old baby bump you had, it's all gone. Lord have mercy. My mom, we got to chat a little bit on her lunch break, which was great. Um, cause I didn't get to see my mom on her last day off cause we were away. So got to catch up with her for a bit and brought Cha Cha back. And now 
I just got some editing done and I'm gonna head out. I just got the call that Bruno is ready to get picked up from grooming. The house is so quiet when he's not here. So I can't wait to go get him. Girl, shut the fuck up. You shut up, look at your foot. Anybody who's got these big ass feet that's so fat that it's spreading apart like gap teeth uh, can't say shit about a fucking dog. Shut the hell up, okay? The house is so quiet when Bruno is not here. What the fuck do you mean? What are you talking about? Every time you record anything, that dog isn't barking unless he hears someone come home, like when Yar came home the, in that last vlog that you did. But other than that, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? Also, hello, ding dong, Alex, you're pregnant. Guess what pregnancy does? It brings forth a child. Hmm? That's if you make it full term and the baby is healthy and is born. And that's what we want because we love babies. Yes. Uh-huh. But guess what else babies do? They cry all motherfucking night long. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see you be a mother. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm, I'm excited. You excited? You're excited to have time away from Bruno because it's quiet when he's not there. Oh, I can't wait to see your big back ass <laughs> with 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 something that you can't get rid of, like a whole baby that belongs to you. By the way, I am finally wearing these shoes from my last Amazon haul. They're from Cushioner. Why with? And they look it is. Uh, like Steve Madden, I think, but oh, wide foot friendly because they have wide and really good. What the fuck kind of toes are these guys? Somebody explain to me why they look like short, fat, stubby fingers. Price, so I will link them again. I think they have other colors too. I just love cushioner sandals because they're so comfortable. I also got to get moving because we're going on our afternoon date soon. It has been such a busy day today. We're getting it all done. It's already three o'clock. So we can get him, come home, get ready. And we can First of all, shut ready. up. Shut up. Most people at three o'clock are still at the damn job that they clocked in at. Okay. Their life at home doesn't even start until after five. So just shut up. Shut the hell up. But oh, you look very handsome. Very handsome. And you've got a cool summer bandana. Wow, look at you. You're so beautiful. Stunning boob. All right, you guys. Just got home from the groomer. I have to rush to get ready for date night. I put on this new dress I got, so I'll show you that. But I gotta speed through this makeup. I wanted to take my time, but Great. Bruno was done later than planned, and <laughs> so much traffic. We're not gonna listen to this music and whatnot. We sure aren't. Hurry up! I'm glad she got different music, though. I think she was listening to Country Shade Tree talking about how stupid her music was. So now she's got a new song in rotation. Yay! More proof that she watches. You no. Okay. Guys, we are heading to date night. And the good thing was he made the reservation for five. And it was very tight, very tight with the time. And um, we were able to move it to 5.30. Yeah. So um, we're going like now closer to a peak dinner time. But they open at 5. And I feel like, don't you feel like cool people go out later? I think it's going to get busy during probably when the sun sets. Yeah, and that's not for hours because it's, it's a rooftop, a, right? Right, yeah. And like the sun doesn't set until what? It's going to be 5. God, now, babe, I feel like it doesn't set until like 8, 8.15. That's crazy. Poor uh, Yar. I don't know. Um, but I got ready as fast as I could, and now we're hitting the road. We're not super tired from uh, getting groomed earlier. He's always really tired after that, but Bernard. we call him Bernard up. after he gets groomed. <laughs> when he has short hair, he's Bernard. Until he gets fluffy again, he'll be Bruno, but he will be Peluge all the time. This is a new place that we've never been to. No! The freshest smell. Oh, my God. The freshest smell. No! RA rooftop restaurant. Um, really excited to sit outside. It's beautiful. It's, didn't you think it was kind of hotter today than it was supposed to be? It said 72 and I was sweating my butt off. Yeah, it's saying 78 now, which is pretty warm. Side note, you guys, the Walmart maternity underwear are amazing. Like, so good. No one cares. Um, I'm wearing them now for the first time. I wash them and like, they come right up over the belly and they just they feel great. Yeah. yeah. I kind of feel like <laughs> men, would, <laughs> men would like a lot of the stuff that women use. Like, I feel like men would really enjoy leggings. I feel like men would really enjoy 
high underwear. Listen, I'm all for it. High quality basics are <laughs> always worth it. Are you serious right now? Listen, uh, Yar, don't co-sign for Tweedledee over here because that makes you Tweedle dumb. Shut up and just let her be stupid alone, okay? But what, what, what about leggings? Leggings? Have you ever worn leggings? Did you ever? You must have worn workout yeah, leggings yeah, under your shorts. Yeah, for the winter. But you wear them under your oh, shorts, though. I do. I, I, I don't do the. No, there are some people that just rock the leggings and run. I not, have a pair of shorts. Not quite for you. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. oh, here we are. You've said that like three times. <laughs> Every time we go out in Providence, like, wait are. a minute, I know where we are. Because <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, I'm still kind of new here, folks. So. Uh, yeah, well, we'll give you guys a review of Mare Rooftop. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> it's spelled M-A-R-E, uh, Rooftop Restaurant in Providence. It looks a little fancy on the menu, but I feel like it's hard not to get a good outdoor restaurant that doesn't give you a little bit of a fancy vibe. So yeah, we don't go out as much. So let's do this. I know we don't. We're trying to get back on our date night grind, especially. Oh, why aren't you going out as much? Because we know that Mrs. Rodriguez loves to spend what? Money. Ooh, quality, quality. <laughs> okay, you got to ring that in some now, don't you? Rain it in, boys. Somebody's jobless. And also, the chins are chinning right here, girl. Your filters was like, ah, we give up. Bye. Really before baby. And we're trying to travel a few times before baby as well. The know. baby. The, 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 the. Funny story. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> I wanted to go to the U.S. Open this this year, and I just realized no, that's not gonna happen with you being like almost like three weeks away from. When is it? Is it? Is it in September? Well, I, I wanted to go during the Labor Day weekend. Oh yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna like, be. Nope, that's not gonna happen. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm gonna be a big man. Y'all fuck her ass. She ain't doing till the end of September. If you wanna go, carry your ass on up there. The silverback can wait. <laughs> fuck her. You wanna go? Go. Because let me tell you, if the shoe was on the other foot, she absolutely would do it and not even care about you at all. And then on top of that, she'd like take her mom with her. You think about that. Big, big mama then. I'm going to have to wait till next year. And we, are it's we gonna, okay. Are we going to bring baby? Okay. Are we going to leave him with mom? I'll have to see how he is. See if he's fussy or not. I've been wanting to go the last two years. We didn't go last year? No, we went. I think the last time we went was 2019. No it way! Was year I met you. Yeah, we took a trip to New York, and we had only been together a few months. Yeah, damn. We went, to the US Open. We went right into it, it. Right? No, 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 no. He didn't go right into it. You went right into it, spending money and showering him with gifts and trips so that you can secure the man, thinking that you were going to be that girl, but you just ended up looking like that idiot. Twenty nineteen, because it was. Because COVID was March 2020. Oh, you're right. Damn. So, and, we haven't been in five years? Yeah, we haven't been in a long time. That's sad. Yeah, I want to go again. That's well, fun. let's see. Maybe I won't be... Who am I kidding? I'm not going to want to go. <laughs> we know. Lazy ass. Okay. We're going to mute this. It's a vibe. I like it. It's so quiet. <laughs> I love it. And look at the views. Yes. Dunch, yeah. They didn't open till five anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so pretty even inside, guys. I'll show you when I go to the bathroom, but this is like such a hidden gem. Like I had no idea that this place was up here. Um, and they've got, here's the menu. They've got a raw bar, pizza, pasta, appetizers, Thai calamari sounds so good, soups and salads. And then here are the entrees and the sides. Okay, so the waitress read off all these amazing sounding drinks and I'm like, those sound so great when I'm pregnant. And she's like, why don't we make you a mocktail? So I got a blueberry lemon. No, what she said was, you're pregnant? Question mark. <laughs> Woo! She probably was like, bitch, stop lying. Pregnant well. Shit. I need mocktail. And oh my God. It's so good. It's so good. And we also are going to share a charcuterie to start. We're going to get one. They have one with me and one without me. So we're going to skip the meat. But I'm really excited. I love me some cheese. And of course, bathroom break. But here's the grass. It's from. You insist on being in a dirty ass bathroom. And I say dirty because like hundreds of people use that restroom a week. <laughs> Pat, I know that I have to at some point use a restroom in public i just don't want to if i can hold it i hold it until i get home i'm the same way at work 
even even though I I own uh my business, um, I don't know. I just mm -mm. the only one that uses my toilet at my address is me, Cupcake, and the fact that Alex sits down on the toilet, just raw dogging the toilet, and then. She's in here and it's all disgusting. You've had to touch the handle where other people have touched. And, you know, you touching your phone and you're vlogging in a place where people are trying to relieve themselves. Just, oh, uh, oh, can we please bring back shame? Shit. That little boutique one left, babe. So cute. And we appreciate oh, this gorgeous cheese board. We've got fresh honey, mustard bread, pickles, olives, jam. Okay, so you just brought your big fat ass out of the public restroom and now you're touching all of the breads and shit on the charcuterie board that you have to share with Yarmin. Now, the lady that went in before you, because let's just be honest, guys, not everyone washes their hands because they don't think that it's a big deal. Now, she was in there. She don't washed her little cat, okay? She wiped it off or whatever after she peed. Or she even took a dump and then wiped her ass, didn't wash her hands, touched the handle to go out of the bathroom, touched the handle to walk out of, you know, or out of her stall, then out of the restroom, you may have washed your hands, doubt it. But let's say, you know, for good measure that you did wash your hands, you still touched the handle that the woman who didn't wash her hands touched. So now you have her fecal matter on your fingertips and you just touched the bread on the charcuterie board and you wonder why y'all motherfuckers are always sick and you are going to be someone's mother. God damn. I want everybody to think about that. Just think. What else? Let's see. We've got so much. Oh, some pickled vegetables. Yeah, and it's like honeycomb. It's gorgeous. Guys, look how gorgeous this Caesar salad looks. And then Not gorgeous. Stunning. That looks really good. What is it? Chicken with fingerling potatoes? Yep, and chimichurri sauce. Chimichurri. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yours a little tipsy. I love it. <laughs> now, listen to me. I was going to say that something on yours plate looked like a turd. Uh, but in me getting ready to pause it, Alex says, Yar is a little tipsy. Uh, didn't Yar drive there? And we know that the passenger princess, when she with her man, baby, she don't drive shit. So who's driving home? Let's see if she shows us who's going to drive home. Okay, you guys, here's the inside of the restaurant. We're leaving now. All right, you guys, just got Ooh! home. It was she didn't show us. Alex! Girl, who drove y'all? Who drove y'all home? Huh? How did you get home? Which one of y'all drove? It, you, you better say you, even if it weren't you. Say you. See, y'all, this is how accidents happen and shit. Ooh, these are going to be some, these two people are going to be in charge of a human being that will one day be an adult that will make decisions um, within our country if they, if this child decides to vote. I just want y'all to think about that. Delicious. Great ambiance. They have outdoor seating on both sides of the restaurant and the inside was even such a vibe. So you pointed the bathroom. Good pee pee. So uh, we just got home. It's like 7.30. I just want y'all to look at her reflection in her um, sliding glass door. See the sliding glass door and over here to the right. Look at look at this body. Huh? Yara is in love with that. He's such a lucky man. Shit. Love it. It's the light out. You're so cute, Plute. You're so cute. Um, we're gonna hang out with the dog for a bit since he's been out most of the day. Who is the most handsome dog in the world? Is it you? Oh, I know it's you. How do you already? <sighs> Girl, let me translate what this dog of color is thinking. <laughs> Look at this bitch. Here she go again with this fucking camera in my goddamn face trying to pretend like we got a goddamn relationship. She know goddamn well we ain't got no 
fucking relationship. She also know that she don't even deal with me. And every time they go somewhere, she taking me to a goddamn dog sitter. So fuck this bitch. Bruno out. <laughs> Woo. They have eye boogies. It's only been a few hours. It's okay. You are always the most handsome dog, and I love your festive bandana. Wow. You are just stunning. Umaro. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Today is now Saturday. It's the weekend, and I just want to show you guys my pretty peenies. I'm really glad this was the way to go, getting a pack that was like half ripe is the wrong word, half um, blooming, and then half are still kind of budding, so that way like they're going to really last and just have their moment, I don't um, but care. I can also be very good about trimming them, changing the water every day, because I'm determined to enjoy every day of peony season. I don't trim the bottom every day, but I do change the water every day, and they have been doing pretty darn well. So this morning, I just took a shower, because we're going to um, a graduation party today, but it is not for a few hours, so I'm going to run to Target and grab a card um, and a couple other like random things that we need for the house anyway. Um, and then get ready for the party. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear because it's like 80 and sunny and I just know I'm gonna be sweating, <laughs> which is okay. Um, but it's a good time to bust out one of the maternity dresses. So I wanna show you guys the ones that came in from uh, Pink Blush. I bought them when they were on sale and they're super, super cute. So hopefully they look just as good in person. But first and foremost, we're gonna do a very quick target run. All right, let's mute her music girl you don't need any more earrings they all look the same they're all ugly and stupid that's right girl oh my god super quick target run and i'll show you guys what i got i think i vlogged it all but i needed more dry shampoo i love the one from day the like spray you don't need dry shampoo you need to wash your ass and your hair. You're welcome. It's not like a spray. It's like a puff. Um, but I'm at the end of it and it's clogged and it's very frustrating, <laughs> but I really, really like it. I'll probably buy it again, but I just needed one quickly now. I also ran out of hairspray. I got some Garnier Fructis full control hairspray. This is the bounce back hold um, with a number four hold because um, sometimes I want to like get the bangs in one spot and leave them there, etc. Egg whites. I got the graduation card. Oh, I was really excited because I love popcorners. These are really good. And they have a new flavor, jalapeno popper. And it's limited edition. And you guys know I love me a snack. I do. So let's see if That's it's That's why good. your ass is oh big as all outdoors. Because you always want a goddamn snack. That's your problem now. Just because you're Alex, just because you're pregnant, doesn't mean that you're supposed to get big as all outdoors, okay? All outdoors, okay? I said a real country for you. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me re-say that. You're getting big as all outdoors. We don't want to do that. That wouldn't be conducive for your everyday life as a new mommy. If you're as wide as all outdoors, how are you going to run behind your little toddler once he becomes one? And hello, knock, knock. I'm here to let you know that boys have more energy than little girls. Ask me how I know. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I can't wait to see you with your big self and that big ass back trying to run behind a toddler because you're gonna call that baby's name and that baby is gonna look at you and make a beeline and start running. Why? Because that's what toddlers do. And I can't wait. I love that for you. <laughs> if you guys like um popcorn or chips and then jalapeno poppers they taste just like jalapeno poppers and then i didn't want to show up empty-handed to the party so i got this pack of just some brownie bites sure big al sure you didn't want to show up empty-handed so you went and got brownies shut your fat ass up you got those brownies for yourself because you could have absolutely got something more realistic that we wouldn't have thought that would have been left home for your big ass like a vegetable tray because we know that you detest 
vegetables. So those brownies for you, fucking liar. To bring, and then we had to make up for our lack of baby purchase of the week. Um, no, you I'm didn't. This. Screwball no. peanut butter whiskey. It's absurd. God dang it. Absurd. It's one of those ones I can't skip. <laughs> On clearance for five bucks, this little Carter's newborn onesie. And look at the little feet. Oh my gosh. And, and it's got little, little animals feet. on it. Um, I just think it is so cute. And it also has like the built in little mittens for the hands because it's so hard right now because everything at the store is so cute and summery, but that's just not <laughs> conducive to a baby being born into the fall. So my due date's at the end of September. So I'm pretty much only buying like long sleeve onesies and stuff. Um, I do have. A decent amount of um, one to three or three months, zero to three months, and a few newborn as well, because we don't know how big he'll be. But for this Whoa. price and how Whoa. cute it was. He, he going to be half as big as all outdoors if he eaten all the shit that you're consuming. Hello, Alex, because whatever you eat, the baby's eating it. The baby. Huh? And we all know that you like to stuff yourself that baby comes out. You better not overfeed that baby, you big son of a bitch. Let me tell you something. Don't be overfeeding that baby. I mean it. Don't be overfeeding that baby. He doesn't deserve that from you. Fat fuck. The little feet, I could not help myself. All right, I am gonna go and get ready and we'll bust open these new maternity dresses. Okay, the time has come. This was the vibe I wanted getting ready yesterday for date night where it's like, I've got like an hour, just gonna go slow and chill. I kind of want to like go for that Sabrina Carpenter look where it's just like a lot what? of blush, but I also don't want to do too much because I might sweat it off. Actually, that, yeah. <laughs> that matters. It is, it is hot. I know I'm gonna do some sort of updo with my hair, and a really like easy breezy dress because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be outside. So <laughs> we gotta go so wet to proof. So we'll do all of our lock and load makeup techniques that I don't even bother with most days. Elf Power Grip Primer. I get that sticky base, nice and sticky. Get a good grip on that foundation. And we're gonna, of course, go in strong with our Estee Lauder Double Wear, the tried and true for hot long days and then we're gonna do about 43 pounds of translucent powder <laughs> because i'm telling you then if you sweat no! you can just like dab with a paper towel or tissue or hey, guys did y'all see this do you see this shit right here <laughs> alex woohoo girl this ain't it i want you to go back and try again why why so forking much Oh, uh, whatever, and it's not going anywhere. Okay, and then also on these really warm days, and kind of even just in general, like when I'm doing full makeup, I do pretty much always layer now cream products with powder, just helps them stay on longer. I lost my little mini sponge that I blend my nose contour with. I didn't realize how vital that was. So I'm just gonna use the side of a beauty blender and try to be careful. But this is the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. I'm gonna blend this in. I'll never get over how nice this stuff blends. Concealer, some shape tape. I do find that this is like a very long lasting concealer that doesn't get like dull throughout the day. Give that a little blend. I also might cut my bangs a little bit today because I have been wearing them down pretty much every day lately. And it's been like one of my go-to hairstyles for when I don't want to wear it down. But like, I don't want to do something like this, like I want it to be a little more something something. And they definitely are like too long. For blush, I'm gonna start with um, Cherry Blossom Babe from Nude Sticks. Like, I love this color so much. I know I'm like, a little heavy on the blush today. Just for like a very springy, summery look. Okay, now we've got our base all set. So I'm gonna go in now with a lot of translucent powder. But first the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Baking Powder. Cause I, when it's hot, my under eyes crease Oh my gosh, fast. I remember on our wedding day, like you underestimate how Ooh. heavy. Ooh, girl. <laughs> we remember your wedding day too, girl. And baby, you was big as all outdoors and your daddy was there. Bloop. Who shouldn't have been there. Why? Because there were children there. Yeah, we remember too, Miss Mamas. Yeah, a wedding dresses. There are so many layers, like just... Your undercarriage is very hot. All right, the whole eye area is baking. And I'm just gonna use Laura Mercier for 
the rest of my face and I'm just gonna like press it into the skin with a brush so we don't smear around any of our cream product. And I also make sure to get the product I blended down the neck so that doesn't rub off on like people's clothes when you hug them. And I knew I was gonna get makeup all over the shirt, so it's fine. I'm gonna use my Precious Gems palette from Tarte because it has this really beautiful Park Ave Princess bronzer and then some blush that I'm looking to use. Now we're just gonna go over all the spots that we did with cream for our bronze. And I wanna keep like the bright energy for the blush just to like match the one that we already put on. Like I'm totally okay with being Super blushy today. A little excess on the forehead and the nose. I'm gonna do the Makeup by Mario Pearl Highlighter. And now we've got so much on our face, we want it to look more skin-like and less powdery. So I'm gonna use the it Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. I love this stuff. I've gone through like probably 10 bottles of this in my lifetime. And I won't lie, I kind of do a lot just so it looks so much better after. And then it lasts all day. So this is kind of the routine. I am personally not someone that can like put on setting spray because I've seen people do setting spray and then take their beauty sponge and like press it in. That just pulls my foundation off <laughs> and gets totally chunky and patchy. It is so sad, but I know that routine works for some people. All right, I just did my brows and eyes off camera. I did the same look I did the other day with the Makeup by Mario Mats palette. Just like really simple. And I'm gonna try to use more of this. I feel like this is at the end of its life already. Um, and I should have looked for it at Target today. And again, I just keep forgetting. Um, the CoverGirl Outlast Lip Stain, love this. Especially cause we're gonna be uh, eating outside, sweating and don't have to worry when there's a lip stain involved. At this point, I should just Amazon it. <laughs> I'm never oh gonna find this in the store. Yeah, I think the biggest thing with this is making sure you put it on like just clean skin. If it gets on foundation, that's where it gets kind of like clogged and funky, but I very much enjoy this product, I do. And of course, topping it off with our gloss and you just ruined it. We'll just touch up gloss throughout the day and it will fade in color and get to that perfect rosy neutral. Okay, so I think I think I'm just gonna cut the bangs. Not like bang bangs, like it's not that serious. I'm just gonna cut off maybe like an inch. So they're still tuckable behind the ear. I was gonna wash my hair when I showered this morning, but then I was like, you know what? We're gonna sweat. <laughs> I've learned my lesson with trying to be cute with my hair down and it's just, it ends up up. All right, so first let's kind of <laughs> section off <laughs> bangs here. Woo! Cause you know what? When Alex said, fuck trying to be cute around y'all's family, man. Fuck them folks. I ain't finna be sweating with my hair down and shit. <laughs> Holy crap, man. So y'all have to listen to Alex. Also, is that an eyebrow archer that she has in her hand? Is that what she is about to cut her bangs with? Hold on. Let me see this. One side of my head is thicker than the other. So I have to I get kind of uh, kind of creative with my bang section here. But I'm going to try to make it pretty even. The right side of my head is a lot thinner in hair, like <laughs> so much thinner because I always used to part my hair on the right for like my entire life. So I don't know if I should take more because the right side feels so much thinner than this side. But I also don't want to like do too much either. Probably better to start with less, right? You can always add more later. Okay, so we've got a nice equal part there. And for now, I'm just gonna like put this in a bun to get it out of the way. This side's already shorter. So I think I normally put down more than this. This is a lot of pressure. <laughs> so this side actually kind of already seems like where I want it to be. And then this side is too long. So wow. I think I'm just gonna like even it no! out. No! No! It's actually not that much. That oh, way it looks. Oh, oh, wow. Wait until Priscilla sees this shit right here. Listen. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but baby, in the black community, that is called an eyebrow archer. And we use those to like arch our eyebrows with in between, like, let's say um, you can't go, go and get your threading done or your waxing done, but you got to go be cute or whatever. So you just go ahead and you just remove those hairs that's trying to come in, baby. That's what that is for. Some people even use it to like, shave off their um um what do you call these sideburns but mainly it's an eyebrow archer and this girl is using it to cut her hair with now i don't know in my community baby that's an eyebrow archer but y'all let me know down know down in the comment section y'all this is what y'all doing to y'all hair what the fuck lord have mercy more lived in than like a blunt cut Okay, that's actually pretty even, but the problem is, see how this side looks thicker? 
<laughs> it looks ruined. I mean, I guess it's really not that noticeable. Let's see the tuck. It is. We have a lot of room with the tuck, but I don't think I want it any shorter for now. Maybe in the fall, because like in the summer, I know I'm going to want to like tuck it as hot as it gets. But I'm just going to touch up the curl. Why let it out if you're just going to want to tuck it? And a little zhuzh. Just like that. I don't know. Should it be shorter? No. No, no, no. You know what? You take it off, but you can't put it back on. All right, let me show you guys the dresses. All right, let's check out the dresses. I got three dresses and then a really cute knit jumpsuit. I, like, love this look on pregnant people. I think it's so cute. Cute waffle. Actually, yeah, this is just, like, the one I have. The waffle knit jumpsuit. Like, but it has uh, long pants, so it'll be good for, like, spring. I got everything in a 2X. Yeah! I kind of want <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> How many times, Alex? <laughs> Alex, girl, how many times, girl? You want to put your elephant's foot out here in these streets, girl? Not on Beyonce's internet, no ma'am, Pam. And then your foot, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I don't care what nobody say. This woman has to be pre-diabetic. Look at her foot. And, and it's like a different color. But girl, no, stop trying to wear jumpsuits and jumpers and rompers. Girl, no, this look is not for you. I tell you what, you want to keep doing this? You need to go and have liposuction done on your coochie because it keeps just looking like dick and balls. You need to do something, okay? Because this ain't the move, Miss Mamas. This ain't it, okay? So it's a little baggier. It doesn't look bad, but I just think I want it. Not baggy! It reminds me so much of the Amazon one that I'm obsessed with, um, but in, like, actually, I kind of like- Your foot! Either. I'm almost 5'8", so it would be a little longer on you if you're shorter, um, but- I think this is so springy and cute. I love it. I don't know, maybe I will keep this. I don't know if it'll be, I don't know. Here is the 23 week bump date. I think this is actually a really, really cute piece. I think that other colors, I will link everything. Okay, let's get into the dresses. Oh, one of the dresses is my baby shower dress. All right, I must have had a brain fart because I thought, <laughs> I thought one of my dresses was also like a little here. This Woo! color is so fun. Which one of y'all gonna tell her? Who's gonna tell her? Huh? Who's going to tell her, please look at her left leg, and then I want you to look at the knee. What the actual fuck? Listen, who's going to tell her, huh? Who going to tell her? <laughs> Who gonna, who's going to tell her, huh? I want to know which one of y'all going to tell her. It's like this orangey red, like this color on a no! mannequin. It's so cute for summer. And then I love that it has adjustable straps that you just tie. So you can adjust it how you want it. We've got pockets and then like lots of room for <laughs> belly growth, which is going to be great for summer. And yeah. I how is that going to work when it's already riding up your legs as we speak? It is not going to be good for belly growth. Huh? That is going to be wildly uncomfortable. Trust me. I know you want to make the haters, you know, into liars. But girl, girl, this ain't it, baby. Baby, this ain't it. I think it looks really cute. This is gonna look so good with a tan. So yeah, here is this little romper. Okay, and then this was the dress I was thinking of wearing today, and I think I am gonna wear it today. If you are gonna wear it today, you better carry your big back ass in there and find a fucking strapless bra, you simple son of a bitch. Go find a bra now and don't wear those ugly ass shoes that you had on earlier today either because it doesn't match and they're also fugly okay um perfect for a shower graduation party anything and honestly i feel, I feel like all of these could be just worn non-maternity there's maternity friendly but i love this this is a very soft fabric it's the perfect midi length mid shin love that it has pockets i love the very thin spaghetti straps they are adjustable i think i'm gonna loosen them a little bit and then we've got the smocked top here and i think it's really cute i love the color it's a very very pale minty green with flowers they had other colors as isn't this the dress that she had on in the instagram photo where she had this huge ass bump is this the dress because 
I'm not seeing that big ass bump in this dress within this vlog, Miss Mamas. Uh, Alex's fans, get y'all asses in here and explain what in the fuck is going on. Hurry up! Where is the bump? Okay? And not that huge elephant foot that's in her crotch area. As well, and then lots of room for bump growth. And yeah, these are really good staples for summer. And I desperately don't feel like trying on the baby shower, baby shower dress right now, but here is what it looks like. Um, you better fucking not wear that to the baby shower anything. Don't wear that anywhere. It is fugly. Why do you insist on making everything hideous? Even at the gender reveal dress hideous. Huh? Why would you do this? You know the kid is going to grow up and see everything that you've done, you know, and the baby is just going to be like, damn, mama, you ain't give a fuck, did you? You just chose everything that was ugly when it came to me and put the shit on, didn't you? That's what your son going to say to you. Mark my words, okay? No, find something else. That shit is ugly. Um, it looks a little small, so I'm going to have to try this on another time and see if we have to return it but there's my maternity little haul the first one i ordered stuff also from old navy more casual so stand by for that but we are now going to head out to the baby shower not the baby shower i'm thinking about the baby shower heading out to the grad party um so thank you guys for watching this vlog i love you and i'll see you again in a few days bye girl shut the hell up bye bye lion ass Ooh, okay so we have seen that and uh, child it's just getting worse as time goes on as you can see but anyways it is now 6 58 p.m on tuesday june 4th 2024 that's right i am uploading the same day that she uploads <laughs> i'm i'm doing good i'm glad it's over though because that was horrendous anyways Thank you for hanging out with me. And with that being said, to all of my Suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers, bye.